Welcome back, folks. As you can see, a lot has changed with the sifter since my last update, and I'm excited to share all that's happened and everything still to come. So let's dive in for a quick update. The first and most notable change is the location of the sliding gantry. Originally, this gantry held all the card stacks and moved them every time a new card needed to be added. While efficient in terms of simplicity, moving the stacks around so much wasn't a great idea. Now, they can remain in one place while the gantry picks up and delivers cards to them. Obviously, you don't see any stacks here yet on the prototype because I haven't built them yet. Also notice the little tiny servo hooked up inside the gantry. Right now, it's not actually connected to anything and it stops the cards pretty abruptly, both of which will be changed. Moving on, another big difference is the control system. In the last video, I was faking it using a remote control to actuate the motors back and forth. Now, after a long battle with the wires and the electrons inside, I've convinced the motors to move using a Raspberry Pi. This is big for two reasons. First, it moves a lot faster and looks way cooler. And second, the Raspberry Pi will be controlling all the logic for the card sorting, so it's necessary. So far, it only has a homing feature and an automatic emergency shutdown if the limit switch is ever unexpectedly pressed. Moving up to the swipers, they've been upgraded from the little tiny 9 gram variety to some beefy 20 kilogram ones. They no longer jitter like the old ones, and they're a lot stronger. The arms also look a bit different to accommodate the limit switches installed up here. My tolerances admittedly aren't great, so they fit a bit loose right now, but that'll change. Also not yet pictured are the soft rubber flaps I'll be installing onto the swiper arms. Up top, there's a 400 lumen LED, bright enough to make you say, wow, that's bright, but not bright enough to damage the cards. I'll be adding a nice dimmer switch as well, so you can control the light at all times. After a lot of testing for the cameras up top, I decided to stick with a Raspberry Pi Camera Module 3 wide version. It's got autofocus, plenty of resolution, and a nice wide field of view, all of which will be helpful when scanning cards. Even with all of these lovely updates, there's still a lot of work to be done on the machine. The card stacks need to be designed and fabricated, I've got to add a little bit of noise dampening, and I want some structure to keep the input stacks secure. I'll also need to wire up the gantry servo and give the cards a softer landing there. Lastly, I want to give a huge thank you to everyone who continues to support the project. You folks are wonderful human beings, and I appreciate you all. Links to join the email list for early updates and to support the project are both below. Anyways, that's all I have for now. See you nerds next time.